welcome back to my channel welcome to another video we are at costco can i show you the store possibly possibly not i'm possibly showing just a lump of car park we're definitely here anyway we're at costco and um, we're only here for a couple of staples we need bottled water so we're not buying staples we can I, I, I can buy staples if i want do they sell staples here probably not i won't buy any staples bottled water toilet rolls dog food possibly washing liquid if i can find any that i can afford because oh my god cosy lives which i know i'm annoying people by saying so i'm saying it more and pepsi max if it's a decent price and that's it that's all we're here for famous last words but i thought i'd take you with us because it's a while since we've walked water and costco together isn't it i mean not me and her not me and you just me and you Christmas has started arriving at Costco. Pretty sure these are the same ones they had last year. I'm sure I remember showing you guys these last year. But it's August. It's August and the Christmas stuff's in. Masks have got very, very cheap. Look, an entire pack of masks for £1.16, including that. That seems like good value. I don't know how many we normally get in the packs that I buy from the pound shop, but that does seem like good value. However, I am supposed to be here for staples. None of these could be considered a staple, could they? Such a pretty Mac. It's only sixteen hundred pounds. I honestly have no idea what the difference is between iPad Pros and iPad Airs, and I have no idea whatsoever. We have a double door fridge. I didn't buy it in Costco. And if I was to buy one again, I would never buy one without going to see it first. Because ours actually has less space in it than a normal fridge. This is beautiful. Look at that. That's a lovely fridge. That's a thing of beauty. Look at that. It has slide out drawers. I mean, all drawers are slide out, but you know what I mean. How does this one open? Look at the bottom. Yeah, but it's a very nice fridge. I like this a lot. Oh, look at that. See the duty lid lift up. So yeah, learn from my mistakes. If you ever buy a double fridge freezer or any kind of fridge freezer, don't buy it online without seeing it in person first. Look, Lex, pretties. Since when did Joseph Joseph make a laundry basket? It's very nice. It's very nice laundry basket. Wants to be for 54 quid, doesn't it? This is one of those washing machines where you can remember that you've left a sock out, isn't it, I think? And open that drawer and add it in. I don't know how you open that. There we go. When you go, oh, look, there's another sock. Can't see the price. I cannot see the price for that. It's up there somewhere. <laughs> so yeah, if you are thinking about your C-word shopping, and I don't mean that C-word, I mean the one that comes on the 25th of December, then Costco started getting things in that would be suitable for gifts. They've also got sunglasses.
This is the double basket air fryer that we've got. Yeah, £90. Single basket one as well, that's only £45. Oh, and they've got a Ninja Foodie look. The Ninja Foodie currently in Costco at £197.98, including that. Now, I have something similar to this which I need to do a review video for. So, watch out on my channel. If you're interested in Ninja Foodie, watch out on my channel for what's coming because it may, may be of interest to you. They've got the Ninja Keep Foodie it. Max. Look, low sugar, keto, dairy oh, I was going to say Kaz has got one of them, but of course she has because Kaz has got everything ninja. But this is the ninja creamy oh, yeah. that makes ice creams, yeah. $203.98. I'll buy you half of one for your birthday. You can buy the other half. There's the ninja, fo ninja foodie blender. We definitely don't need that. Philips beer, beer system. K-Mix, I do have a K-Mix. Mine was a lot more money than that. They've come down a lot in price. Yeah, Anthony bought me mine for my 40th birthday, which is 10 years ago now. It's still as good as new. He paid £400 for it, and they are now 240 quid. My striped. Is it, it is a thing of beauty, but now that I don't bake anymore, I don't bake cakes anymore because I'm the only one who eats them, and so now it barely gets used. I should probably sell it, but because Anthony bought it for my birthday, I'm a bit loath to part with it. Food processor. Tefal Oleo Clean Pro. Never heard of it. In my experience, owning water bottles does not make me drink water. I think it will, but it never does. size of dessert. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I could manage a small dessert. They're really pretty. Four in a pack, three different designs, 1678. Including that. We have not had the kind of summer yet this year where I've needed to get the fan out. The fan's still on top of the wardrobe. Really good, really Really good socks. Those are my socks. I love those socks. These t-shirts are nice, Matt. I love those colours. Look at those colours. Really nice ice cream colours. Winter coats are in. Down jackets, 26.38, including that. These are the ones that feel really lightweight but actually keep you really, really warm, like a sleeping bag. Very odd. Hilary Radley ladies wide leg, full on crepe stretch pants. I don't like the way they feel, but they do hang nicely when you wear them. However, they only got to a size 16. Unfortunately, I'm not a size 16 in this lifetime. And they've got straight leg trousers, but they are only, they got to an XL. Now, I don't know what size the XL is meant to fit. Puma, ladies Pumas for 32 pounds 38 including that. They're not my style, but you know, in case you like that kind of thing. And then we've got Fila, Fila trainers. These are 2160. Every because there's a big sale on in clothing at the moment. So they these, are these started off at 29.98. I quite like those. I wonder if they're comfy. They are um, the ones I had before the ones I've got now. 35 pound for a pair of Skechers. Please don't buy any socks. I'm begging you, begging you not to buy any socks. I'm begging you. 
seamless briefs? I don't really understand seamless briefs. How on earth do they make them? Sports bras. If you have a house big enough for a chandelier, that's quite pretty. The pop is bloody daft in my council house, wouldn't it? It's 148.78. kind of rivets that go into your ceiling. We've got vinyl flooring. 17.99 per square meter before that. I keep meaning to come and get one of these tables to do car roof sales. They're not bad really, they're only 32 pounds. That's the four foot, but the six foot falls in half so it actually takes up less space overall when it's put away and that's 47.98. And I think these are better than the traditional pasting tables because pasting tables tend to warp all the bits of my pacing table and it's about eight quid. So yeah, I keep meaning to get one of those. Today's not the day, today's the day for staples. If you're a reseller watching me and you do shipping, you can get a big bundle of huge boxes, 15, and they're 45 by 45 by 45. 31 pound 18 for 15, that's not bad. Decorating supplies, fire alarms, a random selection of stuff they have at Costco. I'd like to replace the bedroom sockets with these that have the USB sockets in them. They're only 15 quid each. Sat on that last time we were here. So comfy. So comfy, Nat had to prize me off it. Beautiful sofa. If you've got kids going back to school or up to big school in September, you might want to come in and get their, uh, their school supplies. That's so pretty. Look how pretty this is. That's such a pretty set. That's £13.18, including the VAT. That would make a nice Christmas present for someone. There's an A4 Jotter, an a, a B5 project book, and a daily planner pad in there for £14. If you've got smaller people, you might want a Minions stationery set for £11.96. Drawing and watercolour and calligraphy instructionals. A very random selection today in Costco. Oh, and they've got Halloween in, look. And also, a world of gherkins, they should be stopped. What, no, no country needs that many gherkins, look at it. Yuck. Yeah, Halloween's here. Stationery carries on around this side. There's a Halloween pumpkin with flame effect and sound for £35.98. It's not flaming as we speak. Disney Halloween set, I think we looked at this last year. I think we looked at that. That's nearly a hundred quid. We've got hype backpacks and puma backpacks. And Natalie's looking at the world. I'm going wherever it is. We've also got Halloween costumes. Huge thing of salmon, look. These are about £18 a pack. Or a whole salmon for 30 quid. Sourdough bread, 3 99 No vat on food, obviously. Sorry, I realise that if you're in the US, then A, Costco is not news to you, but also you, you, your taxes are different. But in the UK, there's no VAT, no, no value added tax on food. Have you finished the last lot? Uh, no, they went out of date. Well, then maybe you shouldn't buy them. Well, the next week, I'll be back. Right, baked baguettes, 2 dollars They're bang. Loaf of bread, £1.15. Even the bread's cheaper here than it is in the shops. And then the Christmas toys are in as well, so they're all on the back wall at the moment. I'm in, just in case anybody's not aware, I'm in Costco, even my Bristol. Um, so the Christmas toys are on the back wall at the moment, but they'll move them further on in the year. Barbie limo party vehicle and four dollars. Disney Pixar Buzz Lightyear Zerg Mothership Battle. Never heard of it. Do you know I've never watched Toy Story, any of them? Cornflake clusters. 70 of them apparently. 70 milk chocolate cornflake clusters. I should not buy those. As it is, I'm probably going to buy cream cakes and regret that later. These look so pretty. These are Danish puff pastries. These are new. 
with Karen's Bakery made with love. Aren't they pretty? Look how lovely the boxes. There's two different kinds there. These are puff face with vanilla cream. These puff face with strawberry and vanilla cream. They're so pretty. I wonder what the calories on them are like on them. That's 480 grams for the entire box. Per 100 grams is 565, so it's about 2,500 calories, 2,700 for the entire box. And, and there's 36 in there. 2,700 divided by 36, they're less than 100 calories each, aren't they? They're less than 100 calories each. But could you eat just one, or are they tiny? You can't see them, this is the thing. If there's 36 in there, if we assume there's two layers of 18, I don't think they're very big. They're very pretty. Shall I get some? I might get some just, just this once. I'm going to regret this. I want that. I want that so bad. That is a crunchy caramel cheesecake. I want it. I want that and a spoon and a quiet corner to myself. That's all I want in life. These are the cream cakes I normally buy and I am not going to buy them today and I can tell you now it is painful not buying them because they are amazing. But I'm not buying them. I'm not doing it. But it hurts. Walking away from the cream cakes. Walking away. I can see Natalie looking hopeful. She's found something she wants to buy. <laughs> Gammon steaks. Gammon's gone up in price. So that's 14 quid. Well, it's, it's two packs. Actually, when you look at that, that's not bad for 14 quid. That's quite a lot, isn't it? These pork shoulder steaks, look at these. Look at the thickness of those. They're amazing. That is £12.92 for the pack, and they're just solid lumps of meat. Sorry to any vegetarians watching, but, you know, meat exists. I'm tempted to buy pork shoulder. But we actually have got a freezer full of meat because I haven't cooked anything proper for ages. So maybe I should use up some of it. I've lost Nat again. I don't know how, she was here two seconds ago. No idea where she's gone. Literally she was next to me and then vanished. I always like to have a look at the books. I've said this before. If you want to buy gifts for somebody, you cannot go wrong for kids with books. Unless of course they don't read, in which case they should. So there's a David Badil four pack there. I didn't even know he'd written four books. There we go, that's... Uh, Ten ninety nine with no VAT, and the RRP on that is thirty quid. David Williams' new book. This is quite interesting. Christina Henry and Alice Red Queen the Looking Glass Chronicles of Alice trilogy. This looks really interesting. In a warren of crumbling buildings and desperate people called the Old City, there stands a hospital and inside is a woman. Her hair, once blonde, hands in tangles down her back. She doesn't remember why she's in such a terrible place. Just a tea party long ago and long ears and blood. This is a collection of four dark novellas set in Christina Henry's Alice universe. Matt, have you seen this? This looks like a bit of you. Read the back. That does sound pretty good, actually. That sounds like a bit of you, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm a bit skin at the moment, though. Maybe I'll come back and get it for your birthday. Since you don't know what you want for your birthday. Being a Blyson set for uh, 12 99 That's not bad. Percy Jackson set. Is it James who likes Percy Jackson? James Alexis. Yeah. Nine twenty nine. Asked me about the author, Dad. I was like, dude. No, I was trying to. Remember, was like trying him. to remember James's name, mate. The, you know, the child we've known his entire life. Trying to remember his name. Natalie was just looking at this when I came back from the loo. It is a new version, new edition of the Chamber of Secrets. Harry Potter and Chamber of Secrets, and it has absolutely stunning illustrations in there. And some of it is like, so I'm trying to do this one-handed. It's not easy. That's gone off now. Look at these beautiful. Oh my god, I need another hand. Sliding panels and. <laughs> it's gorgeous. It's a lovely, lovely book. There's the uh, car going into the Wampum Willow. It's beautiful, and it is. How much is it? 
This is $16.99, but there's only the Chamber of Secrets there. So presumably the um, Philosopher's Stone has been and gone already. So yeah, if you're wanting if you're wanting gifts for kids and you like to gift books, then the Costco is definitely the place to come to do that. You do have to be a member. If you're watching this and you've never been to Costco, you have to be a member to shop here, but you can come in as a guest with another member. And if you know someone who's a member, they can add you to their membership for an additional fee. And once you've been on their membership for a year, you are actually entitled to a membership of your own. There's professional criteria that you have to be in to be a member, certain, certain professions or um, own your own business and stuff like that. But like I said, you can be added onto somebody else's membership without those criteria. And then after a year, regardless of whether you are still those criteria or not, you are then entitled to your own membership regardless. So it's worth knowing if you know somebody's got membership, ask them if they'd uh, be interested in adding you on. You can pay the extra bit and then after a year you can have your own. I think you can have up to three people on a membership. Just to say, I'm not sponsored or affiliated by Costco in any way, just in case anybody's wondering. One last Christmassy thing, look, the Cat Kids and Advent calendars are back. These are £30. £30 for the Cat Kids and Advent calendar. They're very pretty. They also have home care sets. Those are £12. Here's something I keep meaning to buy. Decent tweezers for my beard, you know. Okay, quick haul video. First up, we've got a crate of water. These are three forty nine and no van, aren't they? I think they're about four quid now. I thought it was. I'm pretty sure it's three forty nine on the shelf. Forty bottles for three fifty is is very very good indeed. And then, do you want to film and I'll talk? I was going to get the water out the way a second. And one crate of Pepsi Max because it is only about the same price in Costco today as it is in Iceland anyway. So it used to be cheaper here, but not so much anymore. We've got two things Pepsi Max, and that's doing all the heavy lifting because I'm holding the phone. I did, yeah, offer, I did offer the opportunity. That's a lie. That's dog food. I did offer the opportunity to hold the phone, but she's, she's lifting now. Two things of dog food. These are now nearly £18 each. Dogs are getting expensive, man. We're having stick insects next time. I think you just feed them sticks. Or bits of bits of hedge. Like yeah. Um, I'm going to take those in the car. and Well, I'm not always all going in the car. But I bought these, as you saw. You saw earlier on, you saw me get those. So we're going to try them in a minute. It's very hot in there. We got a packet of teriyaki stir-fry udon noodles with mixed vegetable topping. There's four packets in there, I think. Yeah, four noodle packets, four seasoning packets and four. And so I thought that'd be nice for me to take to work if I add some chicken to it. But then I also got, as you saw, the bag of broccoli salad because that looks nice. Natalie got... Lexi's pancakes. Lexi's pancakes. These are two in a pack. Two individual packets, two pancakes in each individual portion pack, and Lexi absolutely loves them. So I was like, are we gonna get through those? She was like, Lexi's here next week, we're gonna get through them. We'll get through them by Tuesday. <laughs> I got 32 packets of popcorn. This was only six pound. Six pound for 32 individual packs of sweet and salty popcorn, lovely. Nat bought pink lady apples. How much were they? Four quid, I think. For four eight. quid, that's not bad, because they're about two pound 60 in the chop for four now. Something like that. Yeah. So if I paid two fifty for six and all day. Yeah. I got sweet potatoes because um I like sweet potato mash, I like them chipped, I like them lots of ways. And they were only about three or four quid, I think. Oh, and they've just fallen over. And I bought a pack of chicken. Chicken breasts. Twelve pound eighty three, but they're really, really big chicken breasts. I'll probably be able to cut them in half. And, and butterfly them out and make a really large dinner. Possibly me and that might have one between us if they're that big. If not, then we just have a lot of chicken. Chicken is low in calories. And then finally, finally is the loo roll, which is Natalie's behind. And again, it's better value from Costco because there's more on a roll and it lasts longer. That's it. Okay, before we drive away, I'm gonna try one of these. It's bloody boiling. Can you please open your window or door? Please open the aircon. I haven't touched the keys, have you? I don't. <laughs> Great, we haven't got any keys. Okay, so these are the Karen's Bakery Danish Puff Pastries, and we worked out they're going to be about 100 calories each. But we'll work out more accurately. They're 76 calories each. They're not huge. They look nice. They stay in the packet easily. I can't get them out. <laughs> right, right, okay. I don't want one. You don't want to try one? Just me then. I'm sure you don't want one because that's really nice. I don't know. 
is what you would get if a really high quality custard cream had a baby with an apple turnover. That's really yummy. That's dangerous. That's the haul and all of the Costco haul. We're done. It is muggy today, muggy weather. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this little wander around Costco. I can't believe they've got Christmas stuff in already. It's August, August, August. Although my friend Tamsin, if you're watching this, my friend Tamsin, you know who you are. She was making bloody Christmas cards the other day. I was like, no, August. Thanks for joining me. See you soon. Bye.